So hello viewers, today I am going to show you how to wear lead apron properly and uh, you, I am sure you must be thinking what is there in wearing a lead apron, it is a pretty straightforward thing but hopefully I will change your perspective um, in which how you wear a lead apron and also if you are doing trauma surgery in which there is uh, involvement of C-arm or any other form of radiation, how to protect yourself uh, properly. So if you are wearing a lead apron, uh, if you are involved in a prolonged trauma surgeries, a lot of times you will feel the weight because the weight of the lead apron can be quite heavy and which can be tiring and especially top of the shoulder and the trapezius they can get tired and you, they can give you a sense of fatigue. So the trick I am going to show you uh, if you require to wear this lead apron I am sure you can wear it for the whole day without actually getting tired. So let's begin and I hopefully I will teach you how to wear lead apron properly today. So what most of us will do, we will uh, do this and we will strap it across and that is our wearing of the lead apron complete. I think I am a bit tangled, just let me get over it. So this is what normally what we will do. Now when you wear an apron like this, the whole weight of the apron or the lead apron is coming onto your shoulder. So what it does because of its weight, it drags it down and as the time progresses, you can feel tired. So what I do is uh, if uh, you need to offload this weight, if you can offload it and there is a trick or there is a hack, if you use it, this will offload the weight of the uh, lead apron. So all you need to do is to uh, shrug your shoulder up. So if I shrug it up and then tighten it properly, what it will do is it will offload your uh, shoulders. So it offloads, so if you see this is, there is a gap here between my shoulder and here, uh, my uh, lead apron. So effectively this is not resting on it. But the best way is that if you have an assistant is you can ask to raise uh, the lead apron and once the second thing that you require is if you are wearing a lead apron is these bells. And these bells are provided for a reason. And if you are just wearing this, it's all wrong. If you don't have this belt, order them because it's going to change your life. So what now I'm going to do is I have just undone everything. Now Akash is going to lift it up. Just lift it up for me please. Yes. And as he has lifted it up, I have put this strap tight and now I'm using this belt. So now what I'm Akash is doing is just lifting it up and I am using this belt. And once this belt is done and I have buckled it up and I have tightened it, like this. Just leave it Akash. Can you see this gap? There is a huge gap between my shoulders and the lead apron. And same here. Huge gap between the lead apron and my shoulders. So effectively, I am wearing it but I don't feel the weight on my shoulders. So, I am wearing it but I don't. So, I can wear this for the whole day without actually getting tired. So, if you are Wearing lead apron, always use belt and if you use this trick, this will offload it. And the mechanism is pretty similar to if I compare it like a cemented uh, uh, polished stem that as it creeps, it offloads um, the cement and hence there is less force going on to the cement mantle. So it works in the same principle. But if you want to protect yourself properly, then you also need to wear this thyroid shield. So it because it will cover the mic and you will not uh, be able to hear it properly but whenever you are scrubbing you need to wear this thyroid shield. So, so far I have shown you how to wear the lead apron, how to wear the belt and this is the thyroid shield. Two common things which affects people who work in radiation is pre cataract, so early cataract at an early age and second is the thyroid cancer. So, if you are doing trauma surgeries, buy this shield. If you are doing this uh, trauma surgeries without this then you're doing it all wrong and then you're putting yourself in danger and your family in danger and the last thing that you must have seen if you're following my channel uh, is this lead glasses so wear them and if you want to buy a good quality lead glass then you should have this shield on the side as well so sometimes there is scattering of the radiation what it does it it protects it uh, any uh, any uh, extra exposure of uh, the C arm onto the eyes and since I have started using it I never feel tired. Previously when I was doing 3 or 4 trauma surgeries by end of the day 
I would feel tired, my eyes will feel tired, but this has worked like a magic and I'm using it for last at least 10, 10 to 12 years and I'm enjoying it like anything. And also when I'm not uh, doing uh, surgeries in which there is no CM, even then I use it because it's a beautiful protection for your eyes from splashes that happens during the trauma surgery. So viewers, this is uh, my recommendation if you're an orthopedic surgeon or uh, a medical staff in which, uh, and if you are working in an area where you need to wear the lead apron for long periods of time, this is proper way to wear the lead apron. This is, and you should always wear lead uh, thyroid shield and have this lead glasses if you want to protect yourself and your family because this nothing is uh, more important than your health. So hopefully you will find this video useful. If you find this video useful, then please give us a thumbs up and please do subscribe and do share our channel. Thank you.